Today I'm going to be doing a new video. I'm going to be doing a video about bullet journaling. Um, my, I think my back to school haul, I mentioned bullet journaling over regular like planning and I'm so glad I switched to bullet journaling because you, we have way more freedom than a planner provides you because a planner you kind of have to just stick to their agenda and you can't really venture out which I really I love the bullet journal for that and I look a little ratchet right now because I kind of just threw on some makeup and trying to make my hair look a little cute but um, I just got I got home from the gym and running out and stuff so that's why I kind of look like a grit a mess but I'm feeling really bougie it looks like I'm in a robe but I'm not but um I don't know, I hope the audio quality is better because I got a new mic, so I really hope it is really good because that my old mic sucked and it literally just, it buzzed whenever you made, like whenever you would talk and it was just really bad. So I'm really glad I got a new mic. Um, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and if you want me to do more of them um just today i'm going to be doing like a bullet journal video on it's just going to be <laughs> it's just going to be a 2018 and january flip through i didn't really i'll do a plan with me next month i promise um i just didn't really do it this this month because i was really just experimenting and trying to see what worked best for me and obviously this month i'm gonna just see so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter it is brooke chrisman with two n's comment down below some new video requests for the new year and yeah i'm really excited and let's just go ahead and get into the video so i got my bully journal from barnes and nobles i don't really know what how to pronounce the name of it it's some german brand i'm pretty sure but the name of it will be on the screen and i'll try to find a link in the description but um right to the left of my hand i'm covering up my address is a key to like see like different things and i'm probably gonna make a separate key right in front of like 2018 and i pressed a little too hard and you can see it through like all of those pages if that makes sense so this is the index i have a lot written down but what i've di decided to do every time i start a new month i'm gonna highlight it so that way it's more organized next i have this quote written down and it says even if you're on the right track you'll get run over if you sit there that is like i just really love that quote because it kind of has to do with my life and it's really relatable um but this next page it's just 2018 in a nutshell um this is inspired by some people you may see on here on youtube um one of them is rachel i forget her name it's on the screen i totally forget but so next i have this fitness tracker i really think this is such a cool idea because i just want to see like how many times i go to the gym throughout the year and then the next one is a 2018 memory bank i just want to see like i want to just write down any significant memories right there and then this is the next page it's places i've been this year i really love the little airplane this is also inspired by some of these people. I'll link them down in the description, but I really love this because I can see all the different places I've been over the course of 2018. And then I have some 2018 goals and I really love this little setup. I saw this on Pinterest as well as a YouTube channel and I'm not gonna keep on repeating myself throughout the video. So if you say she copied whoever, you know, I've gotten probably inspiration from one of the people you think I copied, but I will make sure to link as many as I can down in the description. The next page is my YouTube pages, I guess. Um, the first one is my YouTube milestones, and I can just write down like what subscriber count I've hit, and I just think that's really cool just to see how many people I've gained, and I just really want to see, like, how big we can grow our family this year. I have a really good feeling about this year, and then I have my video bucket list because I run out of video ideas like that. I'm always asking you guys for video ideas because I feel like 
I'm not always putting out content what you guys want to see, so definitely comment down below some video requests, please. Thank you very much. The next page is a lyric vlog and daily doodles. I really love this lyric vlog because if there's like a certain lyric that spoke out to me in a song, I can write that down. And then some daily doodles. I just really want this page to look really cute and so far I've been drawing little succulents and I really just love succulents in general as you can see. They're in like literally every single video. This next page is my master grocery list. I'm always trying to figure out what stuff I need and this way I can just have it all in one spot instead of going through Pinterest and trying to figure out recipes. And then this next page, I set it up like a Spotify and I really like this. It's just my 2018 favorite songs and I just want to make a really epic song playlist. So definitely comment down below your favorite songs that I should definitely check out. So now we are done with my 2018 overview, so now getting into January, this is the quote I started out with and it says, don't complain about the things you're not willing to change because I love this quote because sometimes I catch myself complaining about my body or like just little things like that and I shouldn't be able to complain about it because I can fix it through working out and everything. Besides, that is not the point, but I got that little January idea from... The girl on the screen, I really love the way she sets up her January spreads and yeah, okay. Next thing um, is my monthly tracker um, and my sleep tracker. I thought these were just really cool to see like when I do things and how much I sleep and just see how it changes throughout the course of the month. And yeah, I just really love these trackers. And if you're trying to think of something to put in your bullet journal, definitely fill them with these trackers. Okay, so for the sleep tracker, all you do is draw a highlight, I guess, or highlight the numbers from when you fell asleep and then when you woke up. As you can see, this color is a little different. Um, I was trying to find my pink Sharpie and it happened to be underneath the rug, so I found it eventually. I'm just going to go over this because I needed to figure out or have a highlighter that was similar to it just so I can show you guys what I do. All the trackers I have, starting from the top all the way going to the bottom, I have a no spending tracker, a gym tracker, a video tracker, a sad tracker, a happy tracker, um, did chores tracker, a bullet journal tra tracker, um, a no makeup or makeup tracker, and then if I wash my hair tracker, and then if I drank 70 ounces of water, because that's how much water I drink each day, so I really just am obsessed with these trackers so that way I can see my habits throughout the month and see how it changes. The next page I have is a gratitude sort of journal thing and then my wish list and get things done this month and my gratitude journal thing I just write a little sentence or a couple things I'm grateful for and then my wish list obviously I just write down things I've been wanting this month and then the next thing is the get done this month it's just big tasks I just want to make sure I get done by the end of January the next thing is my spending tracker. I'm trying to save up for a car, so I'm trying to not spend any money. I haven't spent money since January 27th, so I'm really proud of that. And um, I really just am obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with all these, so <laughs> sorry for that. Um, but I really love this little flower thing I made, and I color coordinated the colors with the moods. So, um, it's just a mood tracker to see how I'm feeling each day, you know. Sometimes your moods can change, so I just want to track that. Um, the next thing is my January to-do list. Um, I just write down each thing um, I need to do. I really like to-do lists because it really just keeps me intact and it's really satisfying to, like, mark off what you have done and it just easy to stay organized this way i i don't really like um the weekly spreads because i really keep all my events in my phone because they remind me but i really like this because it helps me stay on track of what i need to do each month 
and what I need to do each day, if that made any sense. I kind of got a little off topic. But lastly, my favorite thing is my January journal. Instead of getting another notebook, I just want to have it all in one place. I'm just going to write my journal and I'm going to blur this out because it's some personal stuff. But I just really love this so I can see how I'm feeling throughout the month of January. And I just think journals are just really cool to look back on for memories. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below some more video requests and what kind of bullet journal videos you want me to do and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i say that twice in my outro but you know i just really hope you guys enjoy it but um yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video third time and i will see you in my next video bye guys